Hi, I'm meteorologist Marshall McPeak. We have a big event, a celestial event coming this weekend. We have a lunar eclipse on the way. You already know that the moon goes around the Earth. About every 28 days or so, it makes a full loop around. It is tidally locked to us, which means that we always see the same side of the moon. But when it lines up with the Earth and the sun, and the Earth casts a shadow, the moon can sometimes get into that shadow, and then we have an eclipse. So the Earth is blocking the sun's light as it gets to the moon. Mostly some of the light actually does get through, but what does is filtered by the Earth's atmosphere. So it turns all of the blue light away and we end up with just the leftover red light getting all the way to the moon. So it may look a little red when it's in the sky. In the meantime, it's going to be a big event that lasts almost 90 minutes, so 84 minutes. It starts Sunday night right around 1130 and it'll last until one o'clock in the morning. Those are Eastern times and as the moon crosses through the shadow, it will still appear about 7% larger than usual. And that's because it's at its closest point in its orbit around the Earth. So that's called perigee. Plus, you'll find this, we won't feel it from here, but on the moon's surface, the temperature will range when it's in the sun to when it's in the shadow, it can move by almost 500 degrees. Good news about an eclipse is that we can actually look at it. It's safe to view unfiltered. It's not like a solar eclipse where you have to have something actually protecting your eyes. With a lunar eclipse, it's safe to see and to photograph. So enjoy the lunar eclipse this weekend.